greenmangaming.company. That is literally how it's pronounced in Japanese. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Oh, I love how the Japanese language just steals a whole bunch of stuff from the English language. Makes it somewhat easier to learn. But anyway, head down to the description below. Hello, audience! Today here, and welcome back to Pack Up Plus. When we left off, things just started getting really weird. Something to do with beady dark eyes. It's as if she's an alpaca. Well, today just went from awesome to uh, questionable, didn't it? Why? <laughs> Sitting in a polite fashion on the narrow seat next to me, her, with her legs folded smartly. There is, for some reason, an alpaca wearing Yukari's clothes. Wait. We're on, like, episode goddamn three! You're pulling this now?! How long is the intro for this fucking game?! Okay! I, I, I... Did Doki Doki Literature Club even have an intro? I, I cannot remember. Okay, some of those pictures are just real. So copyright I should probably be commenting over all of this, but I'm but but I'm not. Honestly, I'm just sort of uh, I'm just sort of um just dumbstruck that, that that it took this long to get to the plot twist, and now they're throwing up the goddamn intro. Hey, look, it's an alpaca. You're lucky alpacas are the greatest beings in the goddamn universe. Otherwise, I I I I, I wouldn't be into it. The other passages look at I'm gonna kill this dog. He's been at this all goddamn day. Ugh. The other passengers look over at me, shocked that I raised my voice inside the bus. <laughs> I forgot to turn the volume back up. Oh, no. Sorry. I think I'm still having one, actually. <laughs> The alpaca wearing Yukari's clothes looks worriedly at me. Yeah. Let's go with that. <sighs> Anyone else notice that her voice is also different? I'll do that. No, it, it, it's clearly dementia. Clearly. I can't see Yukari anywhere. Thinking about that makes me want to scream again, but I'm inside a bus right now. We're close to the bus terminal, so I check over my things in an attempt to distract myself. I must be hallucinating. Or maybe I'm still dreaming. I've heard before that if you want to wake up from a dream, then you just need to dream again. That, that no, one, no one has ever said that in the history of forever. The alpaca wearing Yukari's clothing frequently talks to me, but in uh, but in my confused state, I can barely understand half of what it's saying. I just follow along, giving curt responses. Soon, an announcement resounds through the bus, informing us that we will reach the station shortly. I stumble off the bus like a zombie. <laughs> The alpaca beside me follows in a rush. What on earth is happening? I can't understand why there's an alpaca wearing Yukari's clothes calling out good night or something like that to me. I parroted it back, but in my but my mind is still blank. Dots. 
More dots. Even more dots. Where am I? Ah, that's right. My room. How do you mess that one up? I am in my room right now. However, I do I don't clearly recall how I got back to my house. Honestly, I'm still in a state of confusion and quite flustered. It seems my homing instincts kicked in while I got off the bus and it brought and I brought myself home. Yeah, I have that problem too. Did you look out for cars? You, you could have gotten hit by a car. That means the lady I saw on my way back was my own mother. It feels like I have. It feels like that. The, my. It feels like that may have been it. What the fuck? The lady, rather, my mom, had asked what I wanted for dinner, but I went back to my room without being able to give a straight answer. Putting myself down for bed, I pulled the sheets over my head and shut my eyes. I don't brush my teeth nor eat dinner. I don't change my clothes. I didn't take a shower. Come to think of it, who turned off the light in my room? Wait, was it even on to begin with? I can't grasp the situation. I can't put my feelings in order. I must still be dreaming. When I wake up, things will be like how they were. They must be. I thought everything would go back to normal when I woke up. However, I was mistaken. There's no day exactly the same the, as the last, so of course today is different from yesterday. My peaceful, blissful life is like a candle in the wind. I arrive at school in the usual ma- Okay. <laughs> I open the classroom door and there, speaking with the classmates about a fun summer vacation, it had- Is it alpaca? <laughs> I act calm, trying to get to my seat as fast as I can, but my eyes are glued on the alpaca. What is that thing? Yo, <laughs> Maybe that's the glum face. The fact that school just started. Did you ever stop to consider that? Ugh. Hey, morning. My class is talking to me, but my thoughts are only of that, are only of that alpaca. I'm saying alpaca, but to be precise, it's an alpaca wearing a school uniform. The alpaca blends in so naturally in the classroom wearing a girl's school uniform. Like that. You didn't think that that might be, like, you know, something to mention? Okay. Are we? Are we really? The alpaca turns and our eyes meet. The alpaca, mixed in with the girl, smiles at me, but all I can do is awkwardly rant. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it uh, came up on Steam, someone's playing Spec Ops the Line and covered up like half the dialogue. It didn't get picked up on the thing, but it happened. But all I can do is awkwardly raise my hand in response. Oh, so much. Take it, I will do as I please! And I choose to take my seat. When the homeroom teacher enters, everyone scatters to their seats. I always think this, but wouldn't it be better if they took role normally? I check for honesty's sake, making sure there were no absences, and then look back at our homeroom teacher. I... I I I play I uh what other uh, did, did a public uh, play where I played the role of evil Knievel, where we had to actually do our own stunts. Does does that count? Our homeroom teacher lays out the standard subjects pr pretty nonchalantly, 
As expected, he makes no mention of the alpaca. The fact that the alpaca is sitting in Yukari's seat signifies that it is indeed Yukari. Or it could be that an alpaca has replaced her? Invading aliens came, abducted Yukari, and replaced her with an alpaca to divert suspicions. How does... Uh, okay, you just... I'm her boyfriend, so I was able to notice the change because I'm always with her. Okay. The others are just incapable of perceiving it. You know... When I was in high school, I, I had the feeling that others are were incapable of perceiving a lot of things. The hypothesis is sound, but there's no way such a thing would happen in reality. Then, what is this? How can this abnormal situation be explained? After a while, first period begins and everyone heads to the gymnasium. The opening ceremony begins. Uh, after the school principal's long speech, the guided counselor makes their speech. And then the, and then the ceremony ends with another speech. During the whole thing, the only thing I think about is alpacas. I gotta wipe the crud out of my eyes. Hold on. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Okay. You return to the classroom and are dismissed after homeroom. How do the others see this situation? Do you mean dismissed from, uh, like, like, class, from homeroom or, like, dismissed from school because if you're just dismissed fr from homeroom that makes sense nobody appears c uncomfortable around the alpaca is this a gag is there a camera hidden somewhere I look around the classroom but I can't see one unless it's hidden in the goddamn PA system or that clock with no hands Seriously, that clock, it ain't got no hands. The, the, the teachers, they took them out. They don't want you staring at the clock anymore. They took the hands out of the clock. You'd think it'd be easier just to take the clock down, but they didn't. They, they, they took the hands out just to insult you. Class will never end. The current political climate and the military industrial complex. That is what I'm groaning about. Ayaka. Someone abruptly calls out to me after I groan. Yes. Oh, it's Shidozawa. I just said the current political climate and the military industrial complex. Bothering, yes. There definitely is. Should I tell Shidozawa the current situation? She... I do trust her to a certain degree, and it might be easier to solve by confiding in someone. But then, where do... Where should I begin? Do you like alpaca? <laughs> uh... Yukari acting strange today. You think something's off about her? Yukari? When I say that, Shidazawa looks over at the alpaca preparing to go home. Wait, we're actually going home? What? What about classes? Okay. Like I said, no one goes to school to learn anything. So that really is Yukari. ちょっと
Yes. The only question is, how do you know that? <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, but that's not what I'm talking about. Alright, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, 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 I've watched too much anime, played too many visual novels, and read too many light novels. I, 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 Japan, I've got some kind of disease, and snort too much anime. <laughs> uh, damn it. Question is, how do I fix this? Hirazawa is mistaken, thinking that I'm worried about Yukari seeming unwell. However, it feels like the conversation won't go forward even if I explain it further. Yeah, you're right. Tomorrow everything should be back to normal. Let's go with that assumption. I mean that in more ways than one. Did you just blink in and out of existence for a second? Are you glitching it? Hey, have to ask, are you a member of the literature club? Saying that Shirazawa heads home. I'm gonna take that as a... Maybe. Alright, now that I have some advice from a friend, I should reassess this. And I should also figure out... Why Japan insists on using blackboards instead of whiteboards? I appear to be the only one in this classroom who sees the alpaca. In fact, I feel like there's something I have to admit now. Uh, alpaca really is. Hi. Speaking speak of the alpaca, and it arrives. Oh, uh, um. This feels so weird, I can't even look at her. My feelings that I should just accept it, damn it, and I can't accept that Yukari is an alpaca now struggle against each other. Okay. Eh? I let out a hysterical yelp, but yeah, if the, if this is Yukari, then she then she would be my girlfriend, and walking her home would be the norm. Except I can't accept this reality yet, so I tell a blatant lie instead. Ah, oh, that's right, sorry. Today I have something I need to do so I can't go home with you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry, but I need you to, but I need to get home. Really sorry, so I'll see you tomorrow. He says as he gets on a train to Osaka. Let's go to Osaka! Not even waiting for Yukari's response, I grab my bag and scurry off. I'm still not entirely sure it's Yukari either. Turns out, people start speaking quickly when they lie. Really? I, I was speaking kind of slowly. I have a weird sweat as well. Even if she's in a, an alpaca state, it still feels like I ha might have hurt Yukari's feelings. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. But I'm also at a loss. I haven't the slightest idea of what I'm supposed to do. Ah, well, might as well head home for now. I sigh deeply and take the path back home. Now then, what to do? Of course, I have plenty of time since I have nothing planned. Might as well just take a walk. I take walks from time to time when I need to sort things out. While I'm scuffling around, I go over everything that's happened up to this point. Earlier when I said, let's go home, when it said, let's go home, I instantly wondered how I'd get an alpaca to fit on the rear of a bike rack. That's a good question. Neither lengthwise nor widthwise seems possible. I might just have to tie it to the rack with some rope. No, oh, wait. That would just be awful for the alpaca. More importantly, no matter how I think about it, it's not, it's not about what's possible, nor or not right now. The circumstantial evidence points to only one answer. That's right. The alpaca could only be... 
It's September 1st, 10 days away from everyone's favorite holiday. <laughs> that, that, that was the joke, for real. For realsies. It's been, what, nearly 15 years? Oh, <clears throat> Still reminding ourselves of that? I end up coming to school early again today. Seems like that alpaca really is Yukari. I have to accept it. It pained me to do it, but I sent her a message this morning saying I couldn't go to school with her. It's just not a simple matter of getting used to this situation, though. It's something wrong with my eyes. Or my head. Or has Yukari's always, or has Yukari always been an alpaca? Like, has everyone else been fine with it, and I'm like the only one who's perplexed because I thought she was human until now? No. It would just be too strange for an alpaca to be this immersed in society. I need to calm down. First, take a deep breath, then analyze the situation. Alpaca. Artidome... 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 Artidola. Artiodactyla. Yeah, let's go with that word! Okay! Its scientific name is Vic... I'm not even gonna fucking try. And its Japanese name is... Oh, fuck you. Hitsujirakuda. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning Japanese. They originate from the Andes in South America, and they were domesticated 4,000 years ago for their luxurious fur. Yukari's long, luxurious hair is indeed beautiful. No, there's still no reason to compare that to alpaca fur. Yet, what is so... Yet, what is right in front of me is unquestionably an alpaca, so... Right in front of me? Oh, hey, you. That's your mascara. How did I not notice that? Okay. Good morning, you car. <laughs> you? I'm unable to hide my shock when spoken to so abruptly. Uh, my house exploded. Yeah. That. It's nothing. I was just told I needed to come to the staff room this morning. This time, it's not that- I'm not that bad of a troublemaker. <laughs> then why did you- You're an ass. Come on, the bell's going to ring. Back in your seat, back to your seat. <laughs> same old conversation. Same manner of speaking. Yukari, the same as usual. But she looks like an alpaca. And, the, and that- that is the part that I can't get past. What is going on? Where did I mess up? Calm down, Kazuma. In cases like these, you need to gather information first. First, observing Yukari as an alpaca. Observational case log number one. Math class. She's told to solve the quadratic inequality x over... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yukari stands before the blackboard. I watch from how the quadrup... Quadrupedal alpaca might answer this. As it turns out, she holds the chalk with one front hoof and stands on her hind two. She looks like one red panda futa, the one that walks around with its hind legs. It looks quite adorable. I find myself soothed looking at her. Meanwhile, she quickly works through the problem. She factors the equation, draws the graph, and then finishes by writing out the intervals and putting down the chalk. The alpaca solved the difficult question easily. What a clever alpaca. Well, this is Yukari after all, so that's a given. You, 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 you keep saying your goddamn math! Uh, 
Hold oh, up, oh, hold up. This isn't the time to be impressed by that. I need to take notes too. Dots, more dots, and more dots. Observational case log number two, Jim. Hmm, so girls are doing the high jump today. Looks pretty easy. I wonder why they're making the boys go through a long distance run in the meantime. Because they're sexist jackasses! T towards the men! I don't want to run! <laughs> but, well, it does make observing alpaca and Yukari much easier. Where's the alpaca? I mean, Yukari. Oh, there she is. I slow, I slow down my pace, but not so much people around me would notice. I managed to pick out Yukari among the girls lined up, lined up at the track. It's not very hard. Because she's an alpaca. After all, she stands out, so it's easy to find her. The alpaca is wearing bloomers and a PE uniform like the rest of the girls. Hmm. This is... Oh, now is it... It is cute. No, no, that, that that's not it. The girls finish their warm-up and line up at, uh, one after the other, waiting for the teacher's whistle to take off high jumping. Yukari's last name is Izumi, so of course she's near the front. Oh, Yukari's about to do the high jump. Yukari takes off in an intense run. I see. When she runs, she's on all fours. If I remember correctly, alpacas can run at about 25 miles per hour. You're using miles per hour in a Japanese visual novel? You fucked up. So if Yukari went all out, does that mean she'd be able to go that fast? She approaches, then jumps. Oh, her body bends. Normally, you'd, ne you'd never see an alpaca doing the fr Osbury flops, oh, oh, so I feel like I just got lucky. Right as she's about to hurdle it, her leg hits the bar. Yukari falls down onto the cushion along with the bar. I can tell from her expression that she's frustrated. It seems that she has three chances and the two tries after are both complete failures. Oh. I also feel regret cheering her on, on in my heart, saying, next time for sure. Yukari is probably the most frustrated, though. The girls who have finished are all talking with friends, but Yukari is still is still hopping... Uh, still hopping by herself next to the high jump bar. It's adorable seeing an alpaca jumping like that, but she's probably practicing on her own. I hope it'll go better for her next time. I hear the teacher's voice in the distance. Oh, damn, I'm too focused on Yukari. I need to run properly. <laughs> Sorry! Jackass. <laughs> Many dots later. Observational case log number three. Extracurriculars. We have to stay after school to help with the festival preparations. Starting today, we're prepping for the school festival. Weren't we doing that over summer? Like, all summer long? I gave up my precious time to come here and work on our cosplay cafe. Or whatever it was. Wasn't it a maid cafe? I think it was a maid cafe. I think the cosplay cafe, cafe thing I just said was from something else, and it all just, like, blends together. <laughs> so, so anyone who stays after school has a lot of work to do. Yukari's gone to the music room for her club activities. Why would you introduce yourself? Oh about, oh, about supplying the cakes when it comes time, right? Sure. Oh. F fuck. That, that was like, what, two weeks ago? I don't know. Uh. What, me? What, you don't... Okay, just to say, I need to turn this goddamn thing off. Okay, there we go. Now my... Now my virus scanner can get back to work! Anyway. No, that's not it. Shidozawa waves her hand and, and forces me out. 
It's not that I don't want to go out and to go, but I'm still a bit afraid. I accept the, that the alpaca is Yukari. However, I still don't understand why she's an alpaca at all. I don't have a clue. Yes, I love alpacas. So in a certain sense, you could say it's a wonderful predicament. Except that Yukari is my girlfriend. I have no idea how to date an alpaca, and there's no way things are gonna work out the, as they are. I can hear a violin being played as I approach the music room. Come to think of it, how would an alpaca play the violin? Does it use its chin to hold the violin as its fr and its front hoof to hold the bow? Hmm, I'm curious. When I get to the music room, I feel the overwhelming urge to throw the door open and see for myself. But it's also a bit scary to imagine what I'll see. No, I can't turn back now. I brace myself and open the music room door. There she is. Yukari looks just like how she always does when she plays the violin. She's performing the same song as the day during summer vacation. That fucking Paca Bell song. The sense of sweetness I feel in the summer, however, is not there. Instead, when I see her form, I have to make an effort not to burst out laughing. <laughs> Yukari notices me. Faster than last time. Alpacas have incredible peripherals. I came to relay a message from Shidazawa. You're alone today? I remember that I remember her being alone the last time I looked in on her too. I say. Yeah, she was wondering if you'd come to Black Cat to talk about the school festival cake delivery. She quickly puts the instrument away. I wonder if she, if, she, if her fur ever gets stuck in that case. <laughs> Judging by the amount of fur she has, she probably wouldn't get away with just a little, little sting if that happens. Her fur is also unscathed. All right, let's go. We leave the music room and meet up with Shinazawa in the classroom. After that, we head off to Black Cat. You, you, you just said that. Hey, boss. Oh, Kazuma Kun to Yukari chan jana ka. Okay, now there's like three people on the screen at once. Eto, kochira wa? Was, is she like class rep or, or something? Fuck, I don't remember. She's in charge of the maid cafe. Oh, I'll help out. Is that just you, but really quiet? Yes. Coffee art. Yukari turns the conversation toward me. Except because she's sitting beside me, uh, her fur is rubbing against my hand. Because of that, I can't focus on what they're saying. Yeah, I've always loved just adding a little touch here and there. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, it's all about how you pour the milk, so it's not impossible. What? That's fine, but it takes some time. I can't recommend it if you want a lot of customers. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 we have, we have a back? It's a classroom, you're aware of this, right? Yeah, 
がだってかわいいしはいはいお世辞どうもありがとうどうだい打ち合わせは進んでるかい It's not going I think the owner comes over after finishing the dishes Yes quite well The owner takes a seat and our meeting promptly begins. I think I'm going to go to the next one. Short cake, chiffon cake, gato chocolate, so that I'm going to go to the next one. Yes, I'm going to go to the next one. You think? Oh, so that you? He has a daughter? Wait, does he? How's my memory this bad of a game that I played last week? Mr. Makata has a daughter named Ryo attending. Okay, yes, yes. We, we haven't learned about her yet. Attending college. She helps out at the cafe on the side while going to school. I began my part time job this year at Black Cat because she was busy job hunting. <laughs> Okay. I try imagining Yukari making a cake. I can only imagine her fur falling into the cake. The customers would probably get angry at that. Wait, when that happens. Okay. Would they forgive her if she just did that? No way. There's no way they would. Actually, you just can't do that in places you serve food. Did I just zone out for like half an hour? Oh. I don't recall putting effort into anything, actually, sir. But thanks, I guess. Wait, why? You gonna ask about his cafe? The literal most boring cafe that I've ever seen, ever? ね。可愛らしくしたいんだったら、照明は明るめにして、白く調に部屋を作ればいいんじゃないかな。あとはポイントポイントに花瓶とか本棚とかを置くといいかもしれない。Bookshelves. What's going on? Bookshelves. Shirazawa nods and takes notes. Everyone else is doing the dialogue for me today. It's 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 a nice change of pace. She suddenly throws the conversation at me. God damn it! No, I was I was just standing here. Minding my own business. Wondering if I'm going insane and need to be committed or not. You just... Uh, just, just me? You won't come? Oh, 
What? How could she say that? It's true that I've never gotten to meet Yukari's parents, but just wait a sec. If this alpaca's parents are alpacas too, then wouldn't it mean I've been mistaken up until now? That would mean Yukari has always been an alpaca and my eyes have been lying to me this whole time. This might be a good chance to check. Meaning... Oh, time at last! Oh no, no, that's totally what you meant. The alpaca moves about in confusion, its face flustered. <laughs> moves back and forth. Uh, every time she moves against me, her fur rubs and tickles my skin. Well, okay then. Good. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> oh god, she's following me. Y yes. Yukari takes my hand and drags me to the door. Why am I still here? I thought I was dragged over to the door. We'll see you tomorrow, boss. I say my goodbye to the owner as I'm pulled away. Oh, trust me. I'm not. <laughs> Yukari lets go of my hand frantically. It seems almost stupid to say it at this point, but only now do I realize that Yukari's hands are hooves. I feel it feels much harder than a, than a human's hand as well. I wonder why I didn't notice anything strange about it when I while well, it was happening though. No need to make sure need to make sure I write this down in my observation case logs. Observational case log number four: hand holding. The hands of an al the hands of the alpaca are hooves and are and, and are hard when you hold them. Is it this like like th you could have looked this up on Wikipedia and like? Okay, that should be all. I think this is what. I think there will end up be- I, th I think there will end up being quite a few observation cave studies by... ME! Next week. Yes. Isn't it Sunday, though? I walk Yukari and Shinozawa to the bus stop, then head home. I wonder what, what awaits me later. I'm gonna leave it off here. That's uh, that's pa that's pack a plus for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, I have no idea what's going on, but thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, see see if I have a disease or something. I mean, it's a possibility. Jojo, you're a jump, but you're magic.